Hi Cancer, welcome to How Love Tarot. This is your money, career and finance reading for March 2022. Now this reading is good from the time that it is posted, which is sometime in February to the end of March. Now I'm looking at several layers of your uh, money, career and finance, and that has to do with everything to do with business, investments, anything like that. What I have is your present position. I have the strength, the challenge, and two layers of your outcome. Spirit, can you bring forward what's going on with cancer? What's happening in their energy in the present position? What will help them to validate this reading? What do they need to know? Um, cancer, you've been dealing with something that's very painful in regards to the past. You have it's something that you've been dealing with for some time. It is something that you were taken advantage of. And it feels here that um, it has to do with uh, an injustice. And, you know, it kind of brought you to your knees. And it feels that for many of you that are looking at this, even though it may have kind of come from your personal life, um, in that, let's say, a marriage ended or a relationship ended. For others of you, it happened on a catastrophic level in regards to something like a tsunami, something like a like a natural event, right? Like a um, the forest fires and things like that. So there's destruction here that you are that is in the present energy. But what I have to say is, it doesn't feel like uh, energy from past readings. Spirit is bringing back past readings that I've done for you back in, they're bringing back 2020 where this energy was so raw and it doesn't feel like this. It feels like the, uh, that you're now finally able in, uh, <laughs> Spirit is bringing forward a very Victorian word saying that uh, you now have the constitution to be able to deal with the things and make the decisions that you now have to make. Spirit makes me feel here, but for a long time you've been paralyzed emotionally. You've been paralyzed uh, physically for some of you. So some of you uh, went through some ailments. As, and, and, you know, I want to include mental health here. So for some of you, you know, um, uh, the, these events were so traumatic that it has taken you a long, long, long time to even be able to make the decisions that you know that you want to make, to have the motivation to follow through on things that you know that you want to do. So um, that's your present energy. Don't want to dwell on it because you know how you feel. Um, but that's the present energy. But what I can say is that it just does not feel heavy and horrible like it did, you know, when they bring back your 2020 readings um, or, you know, prior to this, you know, what they're showing me here with the destruction in your life. So let's look at the what's going on then in the strength. We have the seven of coins. We have the uh, seven of cups and we have the palace of cups. The spirit makes me feel here that this destruction, you know, this is a money, career, finance, business reading. For some of you, you lost every single thing. You lost your business, you lost your careers, you lost your ability, your income streams, you lost your homes, you lost your, you know, every aspect of your life was tips up, tipped upside down and you've had to rebuild. Now here in the strength position, what we have is you being able now to move forward. It shows here that you are looking to your future here in the seven. So what we have is a seven of coins, seven of cups and the palace of cups. And what we have is you looking at your options. You're looking to see what is going to work for you and what isn't. You're being very, very strategic about your money. Can you see that? So you're being very strategic about your money. You're being very strategic about um you know, there's this loyalty in your energy of being authentic, um, trusting what you know to be true. 
being ready for abundance to come your way, hopeful expectation. Now, for those of you that are not in that hopeful expectation, very important that spirit says that you move your energy into hopeful expectation. Because spirit makes me feel here that if you think that you will not have anything, you will not have anything. But if you think, you know what, money's gonna come my way, I'm just gonna have faith and I'm going to um, just believe. I'm gonna believe that the money somehow, even though there doesn't, uh, Spirit is putting the words in my mouth, right? So I'm saying money, but you change it up as needed. But Spirit makes me feel that this has to do with money. And so um, there is hopeful expectation. You, you know, the thing about it, Cancer, is you've done the right thing. I feel like you've been victimized in all of this. And um, Spirit is making me feel here that just keep your head above water. This is nearly over. Spirit makes me feel here that, um, you know, they're proud of you, Cancer. They're proud of how you have handled everything with grace. And I'm not saying that it's been a straight line into, um, you know, pure as driven snow and, or, you know, and just being an angel. What I'm saying is spirit makes me feel and they've never done this in a reading. They've never <laughs> said in a reading to a zodiac sign that they're proud of you. Um, so they're, they're proud of you and they're proud of what you have been able to do. Um, and survive. You've been able to survive this very, very, very difficult situation. So Spirit makes me feel here that you're weighing out your options and this has to do with your environment. You're looking at where, what's the next move? Um, where do you buy next? Where do you invest next? Where do you take your life next? And for a lot of you, it has to do with um, accumulation of assets. So for example, you're looking at your home, you're looking at your business, you're looking at um, these things that will generate money. And so for, for many of you, I actually see things such as, and remember, this is a money career finance tarot reading, and it is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not telling you to do this. Trust your gut, do your research. But what I see here is many of you are looking into real estate. Many of you are looking at your environment and um, looking at your options. And I feel like it's everywhere. You're not just looking at the city and the state or the country that you're in. You're looking to spread your wings. Um, I feel like you're back in your juju, Cancer, J-U-J-U. -J -U. Um, that's what I call like your psychic energy and your connection to the holy and the divine, I call it the juju. And I feel like you're back in your juju. Now, having said that, what's so interesting is your challenge. I never pull this card. Once again, all news, um, new things coming out in this reading. I never pull the tree of life in a reading. I don't remember the last time I pulled it. I don't think I've ever pulled it. Spirit, have I pulled it in a reading? They said, no, not for YouTube. Have I pulled it in private readings? They said, no, <laughs> I've never pulled the tree of life. So Spirit, can you tell me what it means? Can you tell me what it means for cancer? Why is it in their challenge position? What does the tree of life mean? Spirit makes me feel here that you have worked for something for a very, very long time. For many of you, this has to do with your destiny, your soul, what you were born to do. But because of the way the tide changed in this really horrific situation that you went through, there's a part of you that is wondering, um, what do you do? Do you go back to what you love? Or do you go back to what makes money? Or do you go back, you know, what do you do? And uh, this thing that you've put a lot of time and energy into, it's more than one thing. Cancer, you're very talented, you're very, very gifted. And spirit makes me feel that there is, when you're looking at what is it that you wanna do next, you're looking at how to build your fortune. You're looking at um, all these different things that you're interested in and you're wondering where to put your energy. Spirit makes me feel that you have to put your energy into, th into the things that will bring you balance and stability. The things that, and, and, um, and ultimately that you, are, you know 
you know in your heart of heart in your soul since the time that you were a little boy or a little girl you knew that you were born to do this you knew that you were gifted so that's a, that's a, but the challenge is um that it's that you can go in different directions and you're not quite sure yet what direction to go in so that's a challenge i mean on i mean i i feel like um you know on a scale of zero to ten there's some confusion there i would give it like a five to a seven um as a challenge because you're just confused it's not that it's a challenge you have to overcome i feel like through the process of elimination that you will make the right choice and that it will make it for you spirit makes me feel like you know this will all calm down so even though it's a five to seven right now on a scale of zero to ten ten being the worst challenge you can have zero being no challenge at all it's a mental challenge it's ruminating thoughts it's worry it's anxiety but spirit makes me feel here that that will end pretty quickly and they will end within the time cycle of this reading is what spirit makes me feel um not in the time of the reading you know if it's a 10 minute reading it's not going to end in 10 minutes but by the end of march spirit shows me that you'll be out of that energy um in the outcome in the first layer of the outcome we have the palace of coins holy moly cancer we have the two of cups and we have the ten of coins over here spirit can you bring it forward what's going on in the outcome energy in regards to cancer money career and finances cancer everything is going to be okay you're going to rebuild bigger and better than you ever thought you could you're going to join forces and be the center of you're going to for some of you here you're going to become the epicenter of uh, what you do you are a master of your craft and you are going to have lots of um, partnerships and union and network and for some of you you're, you're literally going to be the glue that holds everything together and you're going to create jobs and you're going to create um, infrastructure and you're going to create a legacy you're going to create something amazing cancer huh that's amazing what it shows here in the ten of coins uh is that it's not happening yet so this stability you're still building it the, but you are moving towards it it is definite it is certain but it is not here yet and i think that's the thing that's going to stress you out is that it's not here yet um but in the last layer of the outcome uh spirit bring it forward what why this card so uh, we have yin and uh, spirit makes me feel that it's really important for you to find balance and for you to understand to allow others to help you i feel like you're once bitten twice shy i feel that it you know you're forcing a lot of energy to interact with people and engage with certain people and spirit makes me feel here that um, there's some loneliness going on and spirit makes me feel here that you have so much love to give and allow that energy to flow allow the balance to come in allow people to engage you and take you out and just entertain you i feel that spirit makes me feel that balance is so important from now until the end of march as you deal with these things that you know you've done so much good cancer and you've done the right things so spirit makes me feel like you shouldn't be questioning yourself however in this time period in this waiting period spirit makes me feel that you need to take care of yourself you know and i mean like going to the gym pampering yourself uh you know i don't mean spending all your money but i do mean um planning uh a vacation six months from now or, or when you know things will calm down and money is solidified but really just finding a time of peace within the year to plan you know something that is just going to make you feel good so there's a lot of love here i do feel like new people are coming in 
I do feel like new connections are coming in. I do feel like you gotta trust your gut on something. There is something here that is a wild card. And it's kind of like, shall I put my hat in the ring for this? Like I don't even, like this is crazy. Um, and I don't mean risking money, right? So get that right. I'm not talking about a risk in money or a risk in investment or a risk in career, but there is something that you're going to engage in where you're going to meet some interesting people. And these people are very humble and they're good and they're amazing teachers and they're of the wise spirit makes me feel. So spirit makes me feel that you need to go in that direction and see what happens and put your intention out there. So when you, um, there's something spirit makes me feel that you're going to sign up for. Spirit makes me feel here that somebody that's very powerful is coming into your energy in the next few months. And spirit makes me feel like you've got to put your intention out there to be able to engage and meet the right people um, that will lead you down the right path. And I feel like, you know, for so long you've been swimming upstream cancer that the tide has turned and you're now swimming downstream and it's gonna take you pretty quickly. And so set your intention, right? It's kind of like spirit makes me feel like you're on a, your white water rafting and you can get into the boat and just paddle until the cows come home and miss these really amazing elements during that journey. So plan, set your intention. If you're gonna go white water rafting, you know, and there's five things to see on that beautiful river, then make sure that you pay attention when you get to that landmark and look at it, engage it, stay with it, and don't just blindly go down that river. So Cancer, it all looks really good. You need to hang in there. Everything's gonna work out. You've been so amazing, so strong, and I feel the tide is gonna turn for you, I really do. So that is your reading. Please like, subscribe, subscribe you can write if you want like subscribe hit the bell button share the video and uh, feel free to leave a comment thank you cancer i hope this reading was helpful you take care